Winter may seem like a funny time to set out in search of an insect so many of us associate with the warm days of summer, but even now, in the cold, grey and damp conditions, there are ladybirds to be found. During winter, many ladybirds are actually tucked up in hibernation, secreted away in cracks, crevices, nukes and crannies to wait out the worst of the winter weather. And one of the best places to look for ladybirds at this time of year is actually within stonework, within gaps in walls, arches and of course gravestones like you see around me now. During the 2021 Northeast Ladybird Spot, we were both surprised and delighted to find that cemeteries are actually a wonderful place to encounter ladybirds in winter. Um, so I'm here now in my local cemetery in Newcastle to find some for myself and to hopefully show you just a few of the species you could encounter at this time of year. Let's hope I haven't jinxed it. When looking for ladybirds in winter, it is important to look closely and examine the small cracks and overhangs you would otherwise usually ignore. Older gravestones such as this with their ornate designs and beautiful arches offer the perfect opportunity to do just this. And right here, we have our first ladybird of the day, the lovely cream spot ladybird. One of our most beautiful native species with a delightful pink base color topped with white spots winter is actually one of the best times to encounter this ladybird simply because in summer spurred on by the warmth they take to the treetops spending most of the year high out of reach let's hope this is a good omen for things to come and here we have another one of our native ladybirds the delicate small two-spot ladybird a species of conservation concern in the UK. These are always a treat to encounter and thankfully, at least compared to some of the more variable ladybirds, look as they sound with two distinctive black spots, one on each wing case. Ah, here we go. When looking for ladybirds in cemeteries, you will often encounter ladybirds in quite large numbers, grouped together. And here, in the city in particular, much of the time, these will be non-native harlequin ladybirds. A new arrival to the UK, which, while quite beautiful, poses a serious threat to some of our native ladybird species. These large ladybirds come in a remarkable diversity of colours, forms and patterns, but by and large are either red or black with distinctive white patches towards their head. Black ones, red ones, large ones, small ones, some with upwards of 30 spots, some with virtually no spots at all. Here you can see a great many of these large and impressive ladybirds demonstrating perfectly just how variable they can be. It is important to record these invaders as they spread across the UK and we'll definitely be taking note of these ones in particular. Don't worry, when you find harlequins we don't expect you to count them all, an estimate will be fine as some of these gatherings can number into their thousands in certain locations. Here we have a, another gathering of ladybirds, um, in this case mostly harlequins. Um, when you find clumps of ladybirds like this, it's always important to look a little bit closer because sometimes, due to the tendency of ladybirds to group together in winter to aggregate, you will often find surprises. In this case, a rather lovely orange ladybird. You'll see this striking ladybird with its lovely white spots nestled just to the left of the group of harlequins here. Thankfully, this is one ladybird that is doing particularly well in Britain at present, thanks to its adaptability and a close association with broadleaf trees, those commonly planted in urban areas. It's certainly a favourite of mine, and you can see why. Just as we were getting ready to head off, Matt here behind the camera spotted a very exciting ladybird. 
I am delighted to say that this small black ladybird right here is a pine ladybird, a rather specialist insect commonly associated, as its name suggests, with conifers such as Scots pine, but also a range of other species. Pine ladybirds are fairly rare in the northeast, or at least under-recorded. Owing to their small size and dark coloration, it would certainly be easy to miss one of these, and I certainly did. The important thing to note with pine ladybirds is their small size and glossy black colour. They are truly rather tiny. Looking closer, you'll also notice a series of four red markings, two of which, at the front end of the ladybird, are clearly comma-shaped. These factors should help you identify your find, but of course, if you struggle, as I certainly do with some ladybirds, you can always check in with NHSN for help. What a great way to end the trip. Well, after just a short amount of time in this wonderful yet very cold cemetery here in Newcastle, we found a grand total of five ladybird species. Over the weeks of head and throughout the rest of winter, we'd love you to get out and about in search of ladybirds in your local area, to check stonework and of course your local cemeteries to see what you can discover. Taking part in the Northeast Ladybird Spot is simple. Simply find a ladybird, take a photo and submit your record to NHSN. By doing this, not only will you help us learn more about these important and vibrant insects, but also you will help inform their conservation in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing what you discover during the rest of winter.